This is News Alert on Capital TV. Hello, our cherished viewers. Welcome to uh, today's edition of News Alert with me, Kwame Ousu So Now, uh, for all of you or some of you who do love football, I'm sure that you're definitely going to enjoy the person I'm going to be talking to today. He uh, was one of Ghana's finest goalkeepers back in the day. And uh, because of one reason or the other, which we're going to find out pretty shortly uh, from him, he got off the football scene. But uh, we're privileged and proud to have him right uh, here inside the studios of Capital TV. We're going to be talking to him. And I'm sure you wondering as at yet who i'm talking about i'm talking about ali jara ali welcome to capital tv thank you how are you i'm fine how are you feeling everything and uh, you're wearing capital tv's uh lacoste you like capital tv i do you watch capital tv yes very well <laughs> very interesting now ali um you you are one of Ghana's celebrated you know goalkeepers i mean you have made a mark when it comes to goalkeeping in this country i recall uh, i think uh, as at the time i was still growing up but uh, you uh, did some fantastic work when it comes to uh, goalkeeping uh, uh, you know in the in the scene of the of the of football in ghana now what actually happened why did alijara get off the football scene um, let me recollect 21 years ago, mm. October 24th, mm -hmm. marks 21 years. Mm. After I got... October 24th? Yes. Marks 21 years. Yes. Mm. Of my paralysis. Okay, okay so that means it's passed. It's yeah, October it's passed. 20, okay, yeah, so it's passed. marked yeah, with marked. the 21 years. Okay. So 21 years. Mm. After we came back from a tournament, yes. I felt a back pain and I got paralyzed. After you came back from the tournament, you Japan felt... 93, that was Japan 93. Japan 93. Which, uh, we were beating a final mm. by Nigeria. Mm. I came back home and two weeks I got paralyzed. So it's not, it's not like you already had a pre-existing condition, you know, that actually escalated after the World Cup. It was immediately after the World Cup that you felt that, you know, you, were, you, you had a back pain or, or what, what is it? Yes, yes, yes. Uh, we went to England for a training tour which I had a problem with my knee. Okay. But that's it. But after the tournament, I came back home. I have to travel to Germany. I started training and I started feeling back pain. So Just did, you, a did, I you, did, you, did you at the point in time, as it were, find out exactly what was wrong with you? Did you try to understand uh, the reason behind the back pain? Uh, I went to Kolebo Hospital, which I was admitted so I did whatever the doctors asked me to do, which we do the MRI. By then, it oh, so they had to do, it was, it was about your disc. Yeah. Disc. So you had to do the MRI. Yeah. Mm. And which I did. So and you, you had an operation? No. Nah. You didn't have an operation? Not at all. How's the MR, MRI? How's it like? Uh, they couldn't find a ZAT because I was flown to the UK for a treatment mm. for one and a half year, which no one, they couldn't find out Exactly what, what the problem this. was. They related it to green barry syndrome, which mm. it has happened maybe, let's take it, 45 years ago. Mm. Uh, they just related it to it. Wow. Now, you know, in Africa, we or in, let me say, let me, let me bring it down to Ghana. We believe in uh, spirituality. I mean, uh, I recall that during the time there were a lot of stories going going on about your, your paralysis. Indeed, a lot of people indicated clearly that it appears that you were uh, being juju. You were jujued by, by your colleague footballers. Did you find out, did you try to find out whether or not indeed that um, assertion was true? Uh, why would I find out? Mm. It's just a rumor. Uh, it was a rumor. So you didn't believe, you didn't believe in it? Rumors that a lot. You didn't believe in that? People thought they said, uh, I follow someone's wife as well. Okay. You have to include it. Oh, so, <laughs> so but were you following somebody's wife at the time? Nah. Uh, 100% of people which say sick, uh, sickness happens to. It's only 1% who survive, mm. and I'm a part of the 1%. The same sickness you suffer from. Yes, so I'm grateful. Mm. If, so you if didn't whatever, follow anybody's wife, uh, nobody did Judy from the, from the camp at the time. Anyone's wife, mm. Malams or Juju, or, I'm, I'm getting on well. Mm. So I, like uh, I don't relate it to mm. anyone who does something to me. Mm. I've learned a lot through this sickness. Mm. I have 360 goalkeepers. Mm. If I'm still playing, I will not be able to do that. Mm. Which 
each and every time a goalkeeper comes out to be one of the best in the country. Comes but, from I, 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 we're going to get into all of that. But before we get into all of that, I want to understand the, the, the pre Alijara. Okay, and then the post Ali Jara. So let's leave the post for the subsequent discussions. Now I want to understand the pre Ali Jara the, 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 the more. Now, when you had the paralysis, okay, I'm sure that you were very devastated at the time. Now, what was running through your mind, and 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 what was, what was your feeling at the time? What was the feeling like? Tell me. It was very 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 sad. Mm. Let me say very very sad because mm. at the tender age which you know nothing, you started life, such uh, sickness attacks a young one who doesn't understand the world, uh, to uh, nobody finds, no knew what is going on, and nobody tells you about your sickness. Mm. It becomes very, very sad, because mm. each and every time it becomes, you become worried. Because mm. where am I going from? When well, you left off. It, that, mm. that. So now you are the. I mean, now this is the new Alijara. I mean, um, so let's let's look at immediately after the paralysis. You know, um, uh, did the GFA or did the footballing uh, as it were fraternity try as much as possible to um, you know keep up with you and uh, checking up on you and making sure you were okay? Were they were they doing that? It's and been, let me be very frank and honest with me. I want to understand the situation as it was at the time. It's been 21 years. Yes. It's How many times have you seen the GFA? In it's your about me and the, my God I serve. Oh, uh, so, soccer, mm, right? When you play football, everybody likes you mm, based on your performance. As soon as something happens to you, they don't know you. then it's out. So I don't talk much about it because it's history. No, you see, it is history, but um, history has a tendency mm. of repeating itself, which is why, because we have had the opportunity of speaking to you, I think that, you know, it is important that we bring to the fore for discussion some of these issues so that going forward as a country, when somebody, uh, a player gets injured, we will not, uh, you know, try to look down uh, on the issue, but we'll deal with the issues as, as it were. Um, you know... My Keynesian got hurt. A lot of people have, have been hurt through football, but yours was grave. Mm -hmm. The reason why I'm saying that, I'm asking this question, and I want you for, you know, you to better clarify it for me, is because yours was very serious at the time. And you were one of the best, let me say, the best goalkeeper at the time. You know, and so I want to understand why, or did you even, so at the time, you heard from them, but subsequently you didn't hear from them at all, or you've never uh, heard from them at all. You were talking about history, history not to repeat himself. Yes. We were related, uh, 50, 60 something. Yes. Was Babayara, who Babayara. had an accident yes. through a national assignment. Mm -hmm. They were coming from Porta region. Mm -hmm. Who cares about Babayara? Mm. But a stadium has been named after Babayara him. after him. Mm. And I wore a national day. The three juvenile World Cups, a, a, a final or World Cup we took in the African Cup, I was among the a, 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 a group. 91, we took a cup. 93, in, uh, under 20, which we were beating in the final by Brazil. And the same 93, we were beating in the final by Nigeria, mm. which we won uh, an African Cup in Mauritius in 91. Mm. So I have done my part. Mm. If you come to the local terrain, you have played for Hasselfok, isn't I it? played for Hasselfok. What did Hasselfok do for you? I've, I've been the only goalkeeper in the country who was a player in the country who won swap all the award in the country. Wow. Hasselfok asks but the what management. Have they done for, what did they do for you after your paralysis? What did they do for you? Asks of folk management if they did it, they even knew the name Alija, if the name exists. So, Are you serious? Not at all. You can ask a club that you played for and won all the awards. Uh, 11 11. Yes, was uh, our hundred and three. Did you even mention your name? Ask if invitation. They didn't even invite Ali Jara. So it's 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 very sad sometimes, but life must go on. No, life must go on, certainly, but I'm sure that you will sit back and you reflect about some of the things that you did for your club and your country. 
and uh, it appears that your country is not as it were taking the serious uh, the, the, looking at the seriousness of the issue because for somebody who has played for the for the for the for the country and for uh, Accra House of Folk at the time Accra House of Folk was one of the biggest clubs in Ghana and for them not to even recognize you when they were celebrating their 100th uh, year anniversary I, I don't think we should we should believe at the point at all it's a serious issue this is capital TV mm. it will be the first time I'll say this mm. thing say it I played for House of Folk mm -hmm. I was 2005 to a uh, to uh, yes 2005-2006 season. I was the goalkeeper's coach. Mm. Lord Kwate won the best player seven times. Mm -hmm. uh, Sani Mohammed won it for five times. Samia Jay won it for three times. Dida and Suleiman was in their best form, which we have five goalkeepers by then. House of Folk did not judge me based on my performance. Mm. But they judge me based on my inability to tell me I couldn't kick. So I should wow. go and sit down. Wow. So just imagine this. Wow. So So you, you, you I mean throughout your career you've had some high lows. Mm. You've had some really serious high lows. Yeah. Do you believe in Juju? Not at all. You don't? At all. You don't believe in Juju at all. Not but did you hear all. at the time that Juju was prevalent? Whatever hearts or have name exists. Okay, so but then, it depends upon you, the individual. Mm, so, did you believe that at some point somebody might have uh, used you on you at nah, some point in time? Not at all. You don't believe at all. I, I started from the from grassroots to the top. Mm. Because you see, the reason I'm saying that is because I remember at the time I heard clearly that some people were envious of you because at the time you were the best goalkeeper in Ghana and then everybody was mentioning your name here and then. So some people put some juju in your in your football boot. Uh, you heard that too. We are all fighting over one ball, which twenty two plus. So definitely such thing will happen. But I don't, I don't believe in someone doing something to you. Mm. No. You don't believe what it, but you mean? believe that it exists. It so exists. perhaps somebody might have used that, that on you, even though you don't believe it exists. Yes, but uh, mm. whatever comes your way happens in the purpose. Mm. That's my belief. Do you think that DFA has been fair to you? Not at all. Not at all. Not at all. Why would you say that? Uh, I am one of the best goalkeepers in country. Mm. In the country, I will not praise myself, but my CV says so. Mm. And uh, why would they judge me based on my inability mm. to kick football? When you talk of Fatal that came from the goalkeepers academy, your goalkeepers academy. Yes. Okay. Hotel Blancing, who plays for under seventeen, maybe Liberty under twenty. Mm. Philemon Makati. Oh, they are all from your from your camp. Let's take it for leader day is a local uh, blasters goalkeeper mm. who currently he was the number one before Adams came came from the academy. You go to the under twenty, uh, Michael Sai, who is the regular goalkeeper that came from the goalkeepers academy. When you go to Black Queens, the two goalkeepers, the first and second goalkeepers, came from the goalkeepers academy. So what what, what shows uh, you will judge me based on my inability? Uh, I played for the national team. If it been previous administration has passed by, we have an ad uh, uh, another administration going on. Mm. Even it has been 21 years. Nobody even knew. Mm. So are you saying that, but I want to understand, are you saying that, um, well, you wanted to assume a certain position and the, black star, the, 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 the Ghana football position judged you based on inability? Is that what you're saying? That you wanted to uh, assume uh, a certain position? Not assuming position per okay. se. You wanted to be but, a goalkeeper's but, trainer? Uh, you wanted to be the goalkeeper's you trainer? Won't, you won't be a breeder from the ground. Okay. And even the goalkeeper's academy. Mm -hmm. The FA must even adapt the academy. Not me going to the national team okay. alone because we have so, a lot so of So you're thinking coaches. that once you have a goalkeeper's academy, they, the they FA must adapt, adapt and at least so you can get a little something Yes, from and them. we talk about goalkeepers. We mm. don't have goalkeepers in mm. the country. Which someone is doing something mm -hmm. and it's for free. Mm -hmm. So you're I not getting paid? I don't own a player. Okay. I do it for free. Okay. And I have 360 goalkeepers. Okay. Which I train for free. Mm. Can't the FA adapt it? They can. To at least improve upon what we are doing. And give you a little something at the end of the month every day. To set out a pace whereby we can get a lot of. How players. are you coping? How is Alijara coping? How, how are you living? Where do you live? Uh, Agege. You live at Agege. How are you surviving? 
I work with fire service. You work with fire service as what? I am in the maintenance section. Ali Jarrah, the one-time best goalkeeper in this country, mm. is working with the Ghana National Fire Service as what? A maintenance what? I'm a sprayer. A sprayer? And you have an academy. See, I, I, I'm laughing because I'm surprised. You see, this is a country in which you live in. You were the, the best goalkeeper at, you know, in your time. You have an academy. Mm. An academy that has produced several you know, number one goalkeepers in this country. Now, GFA is watching you work at the Ghana National Fire Service as a sprayer. But who cares? Mm. No, I care. Is the FA? I care. And I will the take this part out. Or the you ministry? Mm. Or who cares? I am very fortunate mm -hmm. to be with fire service mm. because I was with the fire service. Through this process, I was employed and I'm benefiting, mm. and it's yielding. Look at the, my other colleagues who has played for more than 15, 20 years. They are not well Where to are they? Mm. Going to office to office to beg for money, which we can set up something and they can How, Have you tried yield. contacting the GFA on the issue of ad, uh, you know, adopting your, your academy? Have you tried contacting the GFA? I've even sent them a couple of letters. You've sent them a couple of letters? No, not today, not yesterday. You've sent them a couple of because letters. the academy, the name is just the Jara Goalkeepers Academy. Okay, but it's for the nation. It's for the nation, and, and it's for free. So, what, what do you hope, you know, for um, you know the GFA and, and 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 government agencies and Ghanaians as a whole to to do for you, Ali Jara now? No, to support the academy. To support, support the academy. these young you talented uh, boys. They should give them kids. We we have former sponsoring us, which have gone in for one two times, which. We have balls and things. It can be annually, which every year they can give them these things, which they will be more happier. Mm. And they can bring in the national goalkeepers, mm. coaches who can at least, mm. uh, whatever they have, they, they will impact. just, yes. But so these uh, before I take leave of you, let me ask you this question. Now you, you, you're paralyzed. I mean, no, not, not completely. Now you can walk a bit. So how, how do you train them? How do you find the training? Uh, I, does, mm. I don't do the falling. Okay. I do the, uh, 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 the training myself. Oh, wow. I am with the national amputees. I've been oh, with wow. them. We've been to, uh, this is the third World Cup. I've mm. qualified them to. Wow. Yes, we are going to Mexico tomorrow, if God permits. So you're going tomorrow to Mexico tomorrow? Yes. But GFA is fitting you, right? No, GFA. Mm. I'm with the national amputees, mm. the Black Challenge, okay. which is under the Sports Council. Oh, okay. Okay. I've played two African Cup of Nations, which we were first and second running as up. I've been in the uh, Af uh, World Cup twice. This is the third time. Okay. And uh, uh, Ghana has been the only African country who has been in the quarterfinal twice. Okay. So it's not about your inability, but what you can do. It's not about your inability, but your ability. Yeah. I like that. Now, Ali Jara, we're going to take leave of you now. But finally, what would you like to tell um, you know, the whole of Ghana? They should still pray for me. Mm. And what uh, the Almighty has said for me mm. shall come to pass. Shall come to pass. Well, uh, Ali Jara is saying it's not about your inability, but by your ability. And I think that those are some strong words that we must imbibe. And uh, going forward as a country, I think that we must support uh, the people who have laid down their lives for uh, for the country. It's not peculiar to only footballers. Uh, I think that everybody who has contributed his or her quota to uh, the national cake must be celebrated. And uh, Ali Jara is certainly uh, one of those persons. It's been new select. It's been insightful. I'm sure that it was a delight uh, to have brought to you Ali Jara. My name is Kwame Ousura, so see you next time. That was News Alert on Capital TV.